So Steve, how did you get involved with uh, Model Project? Um, I met Keith in 2010 and at that stage I was, I was mightily impressed by his idea of finding premises and then putting people in the premises when they've come out of prison or they're at the very bottom of the addiction barrel and you know his ethos then was as long as it takes and I've worked in all the services, I've worked in NHS, I've worked in private mental health institutions and it was the first time that I'd seen professionalism combined with being a member of a family, creating a team spirit, a family spirit and it really appealed to me and I kept in touch with Keith for a few years and in 2012 I decided that it was a good time to ask him if he would let me volunteer and I volunteered on a one day a week ever since January 2012. So it's a cause I believe in and uh, as the Mulberries developed the services they provide and the still keeping the family spirit but professionalism continues to go up the scale of what they can offer and the, and the, and the staff year by year and it's a good place to be it's vibrant they care and most importantly to me as a counseling counselor and a psychotherapist is that not only do they care they just don't tick boxes they they they, they work on people's long-term recovery and still, eight years after I joined as a volunteer, they, they, they still say as long as it takes and you get that and no other service. So for me, it's a, a good cause to, to help with and I, you know, I can't say any more, any more really than that. You pretty much uh, covered it in our, our last answer really, but my next question was, you know, what's unique about Mulberry? Um, yeah, what does Mulberry do differently to maybe other services in the Well, I'm a counsellor, psychotherapist, I've worked in NHS, I've worked in private mental health institutions, I've worked in a variety of uh, charitable institutions in, in the North West that provide uh, rehabilitation and supervision for people in recovery. But Mulberry cares, and that is the one thing that Mulberry does. They're professional and they care, so they bring the professionalism, the caring side, the compassion, but they also bring that family um, part, part to it all. And it's the, it's the family that addicts desperately need, in that we're probably devoid of family, devoid of friends by the time we decide it's time for treatment. And coming here with the way that Keith and company run the, run the establishment, you, you rapidly become part of something again. So you've not only got your recovery, but you've got people, like-minded people who want a similar recovery. You've got good professional staff who care, but have boundaries and barriers who look, look after uh, your needs, especially in the early days. And that is a package I've, I've seen nowhere else. It's, as I say, I've worked in all, all aspects of mental health. And it means so much to me that I choose to come here one day a week and, uh, and volunteer because I think it's a great cause and what Keith has said from day one is still maintained today that recovery here you stay as long as it takes and, and you get that nowhere else because you can't define to a mental health, someone with mental health issues how long it is before they're going to recover especially, in, in, especially a recovery from addiction it could be that you're up and running within a month it could take 14 months but time is not the issue here and you don't get that anywhere else you do not get in the services this prolonged amount of time that if it's necessary for people to get well and that appeals to me because i've worked the services i know that many of the services we just tick boxes we keep our stats up we manufacture figures to make it look like we're doing really well and you don't get people well from addiction in six or seven appointments it needs months and months of assistance. You don't get people well in a month of being in a rehab, it needs months and months. And particularly the thing that I've always agreed with Keith on, and that's what I you know, come along and contribute to, is the fact that we get people well in the community. It's no point putting people in a five-star hotel for a month, charging them 4,000 quid a week, and then saying, right, you're on your own. What you do when you're in the Mulberry is that you get well in the community, you deal with life on life's terms every day, and uh, you, you are maybe dependent on the Mulberry to start with, but that leads to interdependence as your recovery progresses. So the package 
it is unmatched anywhere else. And as I say, I've been here eight years and I'm privileged and humbled to be part of it. And um, it means the world to me. What would your advice be to someone that's just starting off, you know, maybe that's hit rock bottom, that's um, thinking about joining Milebury? What would your advice be to them? If, if you want to make a life again, and you want to make a life which is not only the easy part of abstaining from drugs and alcohol. If you want to make a life where you want to develop the emotional side of, 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 your, of, of you as a human being, because that, that, that's what usually is um, underdeveloped because we spend 10, 20 years in a, in, in a bubble of alcohol and drugs. If you want to that, do that, then the, the Mulberry is the place to come. The Mulberry will support you and it will assist you through being able to deal with life on life's terms without the need for drugs and alcohol. And if you're offered a place at Mulberry, take it. I, as I say, I've 800,000 hours of working on a one-to-one -one basis in counselling. I've got over, well, God knows how many hours of working as a group facilitator and God knows how many institutions. And as I say, it's not a question of me coming here because I'm paid a wage. I come here because I believe in the cause. And the cause is quite simple. It's as long as it takes, that's how long you can stay here. You will not get this opportunity anywhere else, in my professional and personal opinion.